It's been one year of travel and I can't believe it, but I'm in a party city again because it's Halloween and wow. last year for Halloween, I was actually in Queens, New York um, at a party city to get a costume last minute to go to the biggest Halloween parade in the world, which is every year in New York City, which I did do, but that was a different experience. I can't believe it's been a year. I think one difference is just how the store is not swamped. I remember going the night before last year and the party city in Queens was just ransacked. It's just like supply and demand, I guess. There's just so many people in Queens that like it just got ransacked. And uh, here it's, I mean, it's familiar, but it's, it's different. It's, it's spacious, it's a lot more stuff in stock, so that's cool. But some things remain the same, and another thing that remains the same, at least for this year, maybe one day it will change, is I want a very, very budget costume. I'm talking like uh, face paint, uh, and because that's what I got last year. Um, I was invited uh, to a Halloween party. It's kind of more of like a work function. Uh, and we'll see how it goes um yeah I'm, I'm perfectly fine skipping halloween but you know i think it really is fun especially if you have the money to deck out and buy stuff like this like chains wow <laughs> you can literally get like these fake chains for like seven bucks wow that's actually pretty good so we'll see what we come out of but yeah last year i literally just put like face paint on my face so I'm just reminiscing, grateful for the experiences I've had so far, especially since, uh, you know, for many years I just kind of stayed home. Um, I think some things I've definitely learned about, like I really like how spacious and available and accessible um, certain cities are, like this one where you have these fully stocked party cities even, you know, before Halloween. Um, that was not the case in in Queens last year. At the same time, um, I do like that there's more people, so it's kind of a paradox. I think uh, more people in New York means more chances to meet people. Um, but you know, I guess it's just one of those trade-offs. But wow, there's a lot of things. I wonder what I will end up getting. So many choices. Masks. Should I do a mask? Should I do a? There's literally like plastic weapons over there there's so many choices um but yeah it's just it's interesting i haven't found that city yet is what i'm saying maybe i will one day but i haven't found that city where it's like wow i can just easily drive to something like this and there's plenty of choices plenty of stuff it's you don't have to fight for everything but then there's you know enough people and activities to do when you want to do it and uh, I thought that was New York, but I think with New York, even at that party city, it was a lot of like families. There was a ton of families there just trying to make it by, just trying to squeeze it out. Uh, well, one thing is, is for sure, um, I will keep trying. So it's been a while. I think most of my 20s, I did not dress up at all for Halloween. It was just another work day. So what did I decide to do today? Well, basically I bought two grease masks, uh, grease makeup kits, two bucks a piece. And I'm gonna, you know, just put it on my face. This one will work better than last time because I asked the attendant, hey, I tried the crayons last time. Those did not work. I tried the crayons with the glow in the dark makeup. Turns out, they said you need grease mask to really do it right.
Yeah.